for me, you know, I don't know what's next, to be honest. You know, there's so many different things going on, you know, there's so many different opinions. I just want the best, I just want the best fights possible. You know, I've tried to prove myself for a very long time, especially here in America. You know, it was, it was dead here you know, for 10 years. You know, no one even knew who was the heavyweight champion of the world war. And here you come, here I come, this country boy from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, you know, trying to put it back on the map, even from the Olympics and just work my way up. You know, I really started from the, all the way from the bottom when it comes to boxing, all the way from the bottom. I had to work my way up to this point now. So, you know, with that being yeah. said, I think that's something that my managers and, and, and my team could ask better than I, because, you know, if, We've tried many a times to make the best fights, the great fights happen for the fans. You know, I've lowered my standards, you know, to make these fights happen. You know, I've took high risk with low rewards to make fights happen, you know. Most definitely. You know, I gave Ortiz that opportunity because he was considered the boogeyman of the division. And people were still said I had to prove myself. And that's why I made that fight. I like Let's make that fight happen. You know, if they saying that everyone's scared of him, let's make it happen. That's what I do. You know what I mean? I'm a type of person that I, I wear my pride on my shoulder. You know, I got a big heart. I'm very determined. I know who I am. I know what I stand for. I know what I represent. And anyone can if anyone want to test me and doubt me or who I am, then I'm willing to prove you wrong. I've had to prove myself to people <laughs> throughout my whole entire life. So this is nothing new to me, you know. I'm the best in the world, and that's what I feel, no matter what opinion it is. And, you know, Ortiz, I'll fight it up. All, uh, I mean, the heavyweight division is very small, you know, so why not have two fights, three fights? You know, all these guys, that's why I don't understand why none of the big fights haven't happened thus far. If you lose, okay, rebuild yourself and get back up. Most of the time in life, many people lose, but they give up. And the great thing about life is people want to see how you, you fall and get back up. It's easy to stay on top. It's easy, it's easy to be a winner and, and, and go around and, 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 and be a winner with no, no losses and, and different things like that. You know, everybody wants to be a winner. But a real winner, a true winner is someone that, that falls from that platform because everyone wants to see how they develop themselves and get back up in life. And that's why I, I don't care about my record, you know what I mean? That's how you become a two-time champion, a three-time champion, a four-time champion. And the heavyweight division, like I said, is very small. So these we, we, we got to make the big fights happen. You know, if one lose, you can come back. Look at all – most of these challenges, they, they lose so many different times, but how many times they get title fights? Look at Brazil. He lost before, and now he's in another title fight, you know. And we can – the list goes on and on. So – I think that's something that Shelly will be, you know, going to have more insight on than I. Um, first of all, Deontay will fight anyone. And he was willing to fight Joshua for very little comparative to what he was worth. And when someone wants to make a fight, they make it. When we wanted to get um, Fury, we overpaid him. We gave him anything he wanted in order to make the fight. And Deontay is a man who doesn't make excuses. Him and I have discussed when he went into the ring with Ortiz, he didn't talk about it after that. He was sick. He was laid up in bed a couple of days before it. And we said, boy, imagine what it would be if you really went into the ring healthy and trained right. You saw pretty much that tonight. And um, we're... I'm in very close negotiations with John Skipper. I'm going to see him next week. I'm in constant touch with top rank. All of those fights are going to happen, whether they happen next or two fights down the line. You will see all of them in the near future, and they'll be on terms that are acceptable to Deontay, not begged by Deontay. It's not done. It's not done. This coming week, we hope to lock in one of them. The fights for the next fight. Are those I, I just named them. There's three guys out there. One of those will be done then, and very shortly after, another one will be locked in for the next one.